Harper and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to build a little turtle screen top for the basking spot of your turtle tank. Now this is a pretty simple build. It's just pretty much a box with some screen around it. And the reason I built this is because I couldn't find anything that was an appropriate little net screen top for my turtle tank. As you know, turtles need heat and UVB, and there was just no screen tops out there that I could find that fit this. I've seen some people were using plastic and you use a heat lamp, that's gonna melt, or I just don't trust it, it's fire. You know, fi I'm very scared of fire as a reptile keeper, and insanely scared of fire. So I was like, well, I'll just build my own, and that's what we're doing, let's jump into the video. So the materials I use in this build is two eight foot select pine pieces of wood. Now these are kiln dried, you don't have to worry about pine. And you might've read that pine is toxic to reptiles. It is, cedar is, but kiln dried pine is okay to use. I got two eight foot pieces. These are the measurements. It's a one by two, but as you can tell, it's, well, in the measurements, the common referred to as a one by two, but this is the measurements right there. I then got two dowels. The dowels were a half inch, 36 inch pieces, two of those. I used these three sets of screws, a number six, one and a half inch, a number six, one inch, and a number eight, two and a half inch. Now I cut the two eight foot pieces into four foot pieces at Home Depot, so that way it would fit in my car. You can do that as well, but get get all the pieces you have and cut them into eight, 18 by one fourth pieces. This is how what it looks like on a measuring tape, so make sure it's 18 and one fourth of an inch. You'll need eight of those, and then cut four eight inch pieces of wood. Now all you have to do is just get your 18 and one fourth inch pieces of wood and lay them out in a box pattern just like this. Remember, you're gonna do one just like this and the other one is gonna have one flat like this right here. As you can tell right there, it's flat. And it's, it's that way so it can sit on the lip of the aquarium perfectly like this. So that's where you're gonna have it like that and that's how you're gonna screw it in. Now this is a very important step. Make sure to pre-drill the holes, okay? You definitely need to pre-drill the holes. Um, you could use like a little hand, little driller or whatever you want to. I had I have power tools, but the reason you pre-drill them is that way it doesn't split the wood. And I'm gonna use the number six, one and a half inch screw to screw these pieces together. And you could put wood glue in between as well if you want to, I didn't do it on this piece. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and screw the bottom piece with the one by two facing flat instead of standing up. So that way it sits on the aquarium easier. And for the top frame, we're gonna do it like this, a simple wooden box type look and just screw them all in, follow the instructions from before, drill the hole and screw them in. To help better show you how I screwed the screws in, because I feel like I didn't get good video of it, where the arrows are pointing is where I screwed the screws into each other to make the box frame. This is the top part of the frame and this is the bottom part. Again, the bottom has that one little stud that's just flat and the rest are upright. Once that's done, we can start screwing the eight inch pieces to the top and bottom frame. To do this, I drew a line so that way I wouldn't accidentally hit the other screws, drilling another screw very close to them. You can do this for all four corners except the, this one. This one is the one with the flat piece. It has the two screws right beside each other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill right in between them. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna draw a line so that way I don't hit the two of these screws as well. And as you can see, this is how I do it. I just drill a hole straight down and the two and a half inch screws, number eights are gonna go right in between there. I also put the eight inch piece up against it so that way when I drill a hole and it could kind of go ahead and start the hole on the eight inch piece as well so it's not so difficult holding it and drilling it into place. And then once that's done, just go ahead and screw it in. I'm sorry the camera got fuzzy for some reason. And just repeat this process for all four sides. Now you're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process, drill the holes right by the screws and you could use wood glue if you want to, I didn't. Then all you have to do is just screw it in. And for this, again, the screws I used was the number eight, two and a half inch for this right here. And once that's done, you're done with the frame. Now we're gonna go ahead and make some inside edges so that way it could sit on the aquarium nicely. And to do this, you're gonna get the wooden dowels. Now I didn't measure this specifically. I just put it in the wooden dowel inside and just marked it and cut it. And it fit pretty good. So you can do that as well. Just put it inside the pieces of wood, mark it, and I cut it with a little handsaw, very simple. Once you cut the dowel, you can drill two screw holes in it and you can screw it into place using a number six one inch screw. As you can tell, mine isn't perfect, but it just needs to be able to sit on top of the tank like this. So 
So after you screw that one in, you could go ahead and repeat this process for all three other sides, and you're gonna end up looking like this. As you can tell right here, I have two in place already, and I just needed to cut one more to put it in the back piece, so that way all three sides have an area where they can sit on, on top of the tank, and it's gonna fit perfectly. Again, I didn't measure these, I just kinda like put it up against it. You don't have to be perfect, all it has to do is just have a spot where it can sit on top of the tank, the lip of the aquarium, so you really you don't even need a long piece, you could just use a small piece or something like that. And then once you're done with all those sides, you are complete and we could go ahead and add the wire mesh. I use this hardware cloth, I got it at Walmart, surprisingly, in the garden section. It's 1 4 inch, 24 inches long, 5 feet. You don't need 5 feet, but I make a lot of these, so go ahead and get the 5 feet if you want to, if you make one, make more of these. This part is easy, but it's time consuming. You get a staple gun, go ahead and get your wire mesh out, and then lay it across the top. Now this stuff gets pretty sharp, so just do be careful. Make sure you do it on the outside with the little points, like the points you cut on the outside, not on the inside of the thing, so that way your turtle doesn't like run across it. If you do it on the outside, there's no way you can touch it. So that's how I do it. And then just go ahead and get your staple gun and just start stapling them away. Then you can go ahead and get some wire cutters, anything that'll cut this cloth, honestly, you can use. I use little wire cutters, cutters I got at Dollar Tree, and it is time consuming. I had to cut every little piece it just took a long time, but it's worth it. And then you're just gonna repeat this process for the other three sides. You don't wanna do this for the front because if he just wants to jump through the front or something like that, you wanna have the front open. But you could repeat this process for all three sides. Again, I use a staple gun with some kind of shorter staple so that way it doesn't stick out and it goes into the wood pretty good. And once you get all three sides done, here it is, you're finished. This is what it looks like when I put it on top of my turtle tank. He didn't really like it at first. As you can see, it just sits on there perfectly. You can put your heat lamp and your UVB on it and it works amazing. Anyways, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.